What's up guys? We are doing an epic e-bike battle today. We are going to be comparing the Suron Light BX to the Suron Ultra B, both brand new 2024 bikes. Let's see how it does. This is the 2024 Suron Light BX. It has a peak power of six kilowatts, top speed 46.6 miles an hour, peak torque 184.4 feet pounds of torque, weight 123.5 pounds, battery is a 60 volt with a capacity of either 40 amp hours or 38 amp hours, seat height 32.7 inches. And this is the 2024 Suron Ultra B. It has a peak power of 12.5 kilowatts, top speed of 55.9 miles an hour, peak torque of 324.5 foot pounds, a weight of 187.4 pounds. The battery is a 74 volt, 55 amp lithium ion, and the seat height of this bike is 35.8 inches. All right, that's enough about the specs. We're gonna take these things out there and ride and we'll give you guys our comparison, tell you which one we like the most. Also, this video is sponsored by Anderson Hitches. More on that later. Something that's way nice about the Light B is I can load it in the truck without a ramp or anything. You literally just get the front wheel up and lift it in. <laughs> Dude, Tyson, it's a flipping nice day today though. Like for middle of November to be this yeah, warm, is. this is crazy. This is nice. We are lucking out today. The gear looks good too. Look at this. Oh yeah, thanks dude. Uh, got a few battle scars here, but hopefully we get some more. All the gear and prep for this compared to my super nice oh, yeah. t-shirt. The sneak easy shirt, dude. It's, it's perfect for the rides. Short. Kind of chilly with that wind. Dude. I'm going to see how many keys I can take before they notice it. We'll see if I can hold them all. Good work, boys. You're just destroying it, and then that would you just put a new one on. That'd be hilarious. How many you get? We're at four so far. We can get more. Like no matter what I do, it's an issue somewhere else. It's gotta be. I think it's really pretty funny. Let's we'll see who notices first that the keys are all missing. My bike's not working again. We you don't have my key. You don't have your key. It's not in there. My key's my key's gone too. Weren't they on there earlier? Yeah. All of the keys are Probably gone. either dad has them or else someone at the gas station got them. He's gone on this one too. Dude, there's no one someone someone ran over and took all the keys out while we're eating pizza. <laughs> Somebody just comes and takes all the keys to the bikes. Bro, where's the keys? Did you take them? Did not. Bro, we got trained. Dude, whose helmet is this? They were all right there in the helmet. That's Trevin's. Trevin's! That's not mine. Trevin. Why'd you take all the keys, dude? Bruh. Oh my gosh. Now we gotta find which one goes to which bike. Bryce, this was you. Don't even act like you're like, guys, <laughs> who did this? Let's go first. Wrap installation it's literally as one. we're here. Exactly. Yeah, this is why you bring <laughs> Anderson Printing to the job site. Because they'll just install anything. I've heard that if you pay a little extra, he'll literally wrap it as you're riding on a second bike. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, if we had an enclosed trailer, I was gonna ride in that the whole way up here and just install it. <laughs> I thought mine were my helmet. Uh, dude, looking at it now, that's kind of a bad idea because now I've got to find out which key goes to which bike, so I'm just gonna be cycling through all these. Nope. Nope. There we go. Okay, here you guys go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have fun.
And that was a nice little scar. Oh man, that was crazy. I like come up off that rock and when I landed my wheel shot and then I just couldn't recover out of it. First impression riding? Uh, so the YBX, it's pretty nice. It's a fun bike, it's super light, which is really nice. The suspension is not that great. As you can tell, this isn't a completely stock one. We've had these ones for about a year. We do have a couple of stock ones with us, but I've noticed that over a year, the suspension has definitely worn out a lot or it's definitely a lot more stiff. Um, and then, yeah, I can't wait to ride the Ultra B. What do you think? Hey, the Ultra B's got a lot more power and a lot of fun. The suspension actually works pretty good. The brakes are really good on the Ultra B. Um, I like the feel of it, the weight. I upgraded the wheels and tires on this one. Got the 18 and the 21. Uh, seems to handle really well. Got the good old Warp 9 wheel set up. And uh, yeah, I'm really liking the bike. It's feeling good today. This thing is so sick. Got the fully built EXT suspension. Got the 1821 Warp 9 wheels and riser bars and some other Warp 9 parts. This bike's amazing. Yeah, I love the Suron. I mean, this one's completely stock besides the pegs right here. But I come from mountain biking and you can really ride this thing uphill like a mountain bike and you get the mobility downhill just like mountain biking. It's awesome. These are so fun. That's sweet. Where's Kyle, Where's Kyle at? I don't know. I don't know. Holy crap. He's in the tree, guys. Yeah, he's up in the tree. It had jumped and I ended up here. Okay, we'll see you later, dude. Alright, see you, dude. Ow. Frick. Dude, check out this view. That's freaking sick. That is so sick. Tyson, what are your thoughts on the Light B and the Ultra B? They're so fun, the Light B. I like how it's small, lightweight, and I have so much control over it. And the Ultra B, it's got a lot more power, I think. My first impressions, I think for trail riding specifically, the Ultra B is probably a better bike. It has better suspension, more power. However, the Light Bs are pretty fun because they feel more like a mountain bike. They're really light and they're nimble. I mean, we've been riding dirt bikes our whole lives and I always made fun of like the electric bikes and stuff. But now that we're on them and we've been riding them for a bit, like these are my new favorite bikes by far. Like, especially for like trail riding and stuff and for like the pit bike track. And speaking yeah. of that, we're gonna cut over to the pit bike track and see how they perform there. All right guys, we're here at the pit bike track just in the backyard. Um, I wanna give a quick shout out to Anderson Hitches. Like I was saying earlier, they have the best towing products in the industry. Um, they were the first to come out with aluminum hitches. They have the ultimate fifth wheel connection, which is the lightest, one of the best hitches out there on the market. We use it all the time. We use their rapid hitches, all aluminum, uh, super lightweight, very strong. They don't rust, fantastic products. Uh, Anderson is known for their elite customer service, their original designs and premier telling products. It's a fantastic company, uh, great to work with. We love all of our Anderson gear and we're gonna go hit the pit bike track and see how the Light B and the Ultra B do on all the jumps and everything. Here's our final thoughts on the bikes. Overall, I'm very happy with the Surons. They are one of the funnest bikes I have ever ridden. We've been riding dirt bikes like our entire lives. We all ride 450s. Um, we've been riding on the pit bike track in our backyard forever. We've ridden real tracks before. Um, 
they're a blast i love dirt bikes and i've always kind of hated on e-bikes because i didn't think they were as cool as the dirt bikes but man once we got on these things i was like i was sold these are freaking fun bikes um i will say too like not having the clutch not having to shift like all those things it's actually a lot of fun it makes it so you can focus more on the riding and everything if you are wanting to spend quite a bit of money I would go with the Light B because I think you can get enough upgrades to make it the best bike in the world. Um, you can kind of see Trevin's bike over there. He's already done quite a bit to it. He's got the suspension. He's got a lot of aftermarket parts from Warp 9. Um, tons of stuff done to it. We're gonna be getting new batteries and um, controllers soon. So that's gonna really make a big difference on these bikes. I would say if you want a little bit more speed, a little bit more power, and maybe just a little bit more size, obviously go with the Ultra B. They do fantastic on the trails. They do fantastic on the track. Like anywhere you take these bikes, it's gonna be a good time. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you are wanting to spend a little bit of money, I would go with the Light B. And it kind of depends on your weight and size too, but that's my personal opinion. What do you think, Trev? I would for sure go with the Light B if you're gonna spend more money. If you're gonna go a little bit cheaper, but a little bit more than the stock Light B, I'd go with an Ultra B. It's a little bit more power stock. And yeah, they're just amazing bikes. Anyways, we had a fantastic day riding today. It was so much fun. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff like this in the future. So we will catch you guys next week. Almost. You got it, dude.